Diamonds are essential when it comes to Pet Simulator 99, but not a lot of people can get them. But today, I want to change that by showing you the most insane messes that all the YouTubers don't want you to know about. So make sure to watch until the end because the messes I'm about to show you are actually insane. Now there's a lot of ways to get gems in this game. I'll go ahead and show you the basics. So first right over here, we got stuff like this where it has like the free diamonds and you can like claim them, but they only give you like 300, which is not really good. We want to be getting infinite diamonds or millions of diamonds. So how can we do this? But before you click off this video, obviously you can tell that I'm a very good source when it comes to this stuff because as you can see, I have 3.4 million gems to my name. And I'm also friends with many other people who have made millions if not hundreds of million diamonds from the messes I'm going to show you in this video. And because I'm not like every other YouTuber who gapes all the OP methods, you'll be able to make as much as they do. And obviously if you want to maximize the amount of diamonds you get, I'd say the best thing to do is to go around the map and collect the little like things you see, whether it's like diamonds or not. That also includes collecting things like your free gifts. So I'm about to redeem all of them. Let's see how many I get. And as you can see from just that alone, I got 1.5k diamonds, which is a lot. But they aren't going to get you as much as the methods I'm going to show you later on in this video because they actually get insane. But as we're talking about methods, another thing you can do to get diamonds is by actually putting your pets in the daycare. And what I mean by that is not just putting any pets that you want because you can't just put in eight bunnies and expect to get 100 million gems. You gotta be putting in the best pets. And I mean stuff like the rainbow jolly cat or stuff like the rainbow colorful dragon. Thankfully, I actually put my pets in the daycare before making this video so I can actually show you guys like how what it actually like looks like. So let's go ahead and claim my pets from the daycare. I got 20 jolly cats in here so let's go ahead and claim all in 3, 2, 1 and look at that. I got 53k diamonds just from claiming my 20 jolly cats from the daycare. I also get these diamonds potions and these other enchants that can actually help with the message I'm going to show you later on in this video. But getting that out of the way, let's go on to the next method. Now obviously you can get a lot of diamonds by doing your rank rewards because see as you can see here literally rank 9 the second reward gives you 3,500 diamonds which is actually insane guys. Look more diamonds right here 4,500 diamonds and then these like large gift bags they also give you diamonds along with other stuff that can help you get diamonds. Diamonds potion 3 dude these rewards are actually insane I'm telling you. As you can see here you get like diamonds flags fortune flags more diamonds 6k diamonds more gifts and a diamonds 5 book guys. This is why I'm telling you you should rank up as much as you can because they actually give you insane rewards. Wait, I think I actually have a gift in here so I can show you guys. Yeah, here it is. I have three gift bags and a larger gift bag. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So let's go ahead and open it. Three, two, one, and boom. What are we going to get, guys? Okay, I actually just got garbage, but that's fine. Because we still have three gift bags, guys. It's not the end of the world. Okay, three, two, one, and... Alright, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Oh, I got another gift bag somehow. Oh, I got three rainbow fruits, which can actually help a lot when grinding. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's move on to the next method. Alright, so the next method actually isn't really that, like, free to play. Unless you can, like, straight up to a bunch of huge pets. Pretty much what you have to do is you actually want to get, like, a lot of huge pets as well as, like, some rainbow ones. See, this one I literally hatched by myself. I'm not even lying. The huge rainbow gecko I hatched just by myself. But yeah, I also hatched, like, a bunch of rainbow exclusives. Like, as you can see here, the rainbow celestial dragon rainbow dragon fruit dragon now let's actually get into the methods that people use to get hundreds of millions of gems so first what you want to do is you actually want to go to the last area in the game right now as of this video which is actually the it's i don't know it's area 63 it's not showing for some reason but you want to go to the last area in the game which will contain some of the best chests that you can break which will give you a lot of coins and also diamonds and you may be asking how is this going to work well there's actually a specific enchant combo you have to use let me go ahead and unequip all my enchants i'm going to show you guys what you have to use so for damage wise you're gonna have to equip like four critical books and then equip a fortune book which goes around for like a million gems in the training plaza so they aren't like that expensive and you want to get a strong pets five or you could put two diamond fives but i'm gonna put the strong pets five so i'm gonna put on one diamonds five and you may be wondering what about the coins well for me i already have max coins so it doesn't really matter for me but yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and grind this area and look at the amount of gems I'm getting per second. I literally just got 53 gems off the bat, which is way faster than the VIP area. I'm actually turn on my auto farm real quick, and more things you can do is like put on diamonds potions, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not really gonna grind right now. You also put on diamonds flags, which I'll just do since I have like 115 of them. And with this method, you'll literally make millions of gems a day just by sitting here, not doing anything at your computer at all. But let's say you're not that far in the game, let's go ahead and actually go to the spawn 
and I'm going to show you guys a different method of doing this. Now, obviously, this won't work as well because it got nerfed, but if you go ahead and go over here to the VIP area, which, yes, unfortunately, does cost Robux, but don't worry, it's only like 200 Robux, so... But since I know a lot of you guys don't have as much Robux as I do, I'm actually going to be giving away VIP to some people who comment on this video, so go ahead and comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to the channel as this is the very first video on here, and comment down your username. But anyways, moving on, in the VIP area, you can literally just, like, put on the potions and the thing, and look at how many gems you're getting. Now, you used to be able to get, like, thousands of gems, which is why this isn't the best method anymore, but don't worry, because the next methods I'm going to show you in this video are actually insane, so keep on watching, guys. In literally, like, 20 seconds, I've already made, like, a thousand diamonds, so this is how well even this nerfed area now works. Now, the next method I'm going to show you is actually pretty easy for, like, anyone to do. Basically, you want to grind the best area and then hatch a bunch of your eggs. So, I'm going to go ahead and add, like, one, like, 50 of these eggs real quick. And look at that, I get like so many rainbows and like so many golden pets. Let's go to the gold machine. Now once you hatch a bunch of those pets, you want to go over to the gold machine and then do what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I have like thousands of these pets that actually a lot of people want. Because you know, they want the most power in this game. And who wouldn't? I don't blame them. Because you see, I have like 4,000 frost bears. So I'm going to go ahead and make like, I don't know, 100 goldens. And let's go ahead and press OK. And look at that, guys. I just got 100 golden frost bears. But that's not all, because we can actually take it to the next level, guys. So let's go ahead and go to the rainbow machine right over here. All right, we're going over here to the rainbow machine. And as you can see here, it says right here, rainbow makes your pets 10 times better. As you can see here, I have 381 frost bears. And I can literally convert these to rainbow and make them really strong. But I'm only going to do 100 since I want to save mine for quests. Since I'm not actually at max rank yet, I'm like two ranks away, but we don't talk about that. And we're going to press OK. And as you can see, I just got 10 rainbow frost bears now this is where stuff can get complicated because what you're actually going to want to do with these pets is you're going to want to go ahead and go over to the trading plaza this is probably where a lot of you get scared but don't worry because i'm actually going to show you the best way to find values and the best way to actually sell things in the trading plaza and if you're selling just these types of pets i would recommend going to the normal trading plaza since you know pro trading plazas are just people who are trying to sell huge pets so more noobs are going to be in the normal ones so they'll be able to buy your pets more than like if you sold them in the pro trading plaza I was going to go to the normal training plaza and I'll see you guys over there. Now, obviously, in Pet Simulator X, we had stuff like value lists, and there aren't really that many value lists for Pet Simulator 99 yet, except for one, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So, if we go ahead and switch over to my browser, I'm actually pulling up 123demands.com, which is actually a Pet Simulator 99 value list. We can literally search up the values of any pet. This is not sponsored, by the way. Obviously, in Pet Simulator 99, I just converted my pets to Rainbow Frost Bear, so I'm gonna go ahead and find it real quick. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back to 123 Demand, so let's go ahead and search for the Frost Bear. Now, unfortunately, there isn't actually any values yet on the pet for some reason, but I think there'll be people selling it, so let's go ahead and look around. Yeah, here's the Frost Bears. 100 Frost Bears literally go for 6,000 diamonds. So if we go ahead and divide 6,000 by 100, we'll get the value for one of these pets, which is around 60 gems. So if we times that by 10, which is how many I got, that's 600 gems. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my booze, and I'm gonna go ahead and put up the pets I just converted. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and put up the pets I just made. So that was like 10 Frost Bears. So there we go, 10, and then for 600 gems, and watch how fast people are gonna buy this. So let's go, someone just bought my pets. See, I'm telling you guys, this method actually works. But it's not as insane as to what I'm about to show you, which is the best method to get gems in the game. Now, since it actually gets a little bit complicated, it's time for me to start yapping a lot. As you can see here, here's like a Midas touch book for 150k gems. We're actually gonna go ahead and check the value on that, because that might actually be a steal. So let's go ahead and go back to 123 demands, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in Midas touch. And as you can see, the average price for this is around 100 and 60k gems so this is around 10k profit but i could probably get away with selling this for around 200k so let's go ahead and buy it three two one and i just bought it the other day i was actually going around the training plaza and i literally found these diamond five books going for 100k gems each so i eagerly checked 123demands.com and i noticed that they actually go for 200k gems each which is literally 100k profit so i bought all of them and i bought like five of the books so it's actually insane guys how well this method works out of anything else i've shown you in this video and i actually still have have these items in my inventory so i'm actually gonna go ahead and sell these on camera to show you guys that this actually works but to do this i'm actually gonna have to go to the pro training plaza since that's where most people have their gems so let's go i'm actually gonna go ahead and claim my stand i'm gonna go why am i bald i'm gonna go ahead and claim my stand and then i'm gonna put up all my books that i bought i'm gonna go ahead and get these diamond five books i'm gonna put each of them up for around 175k since i know people aren't gonna buy them for 200k and now i'm gonna put up one midas touch for around 175k now there's actually a verified 
person in here. I don't know what they do, but that's pretty cool. It goes to show what types of people you can actually find in here. Oh, is someone's actually selling a Titanic Cosmic Pegasus for 300 million gem. I've never actually seen a Titanic go on sale before, so this is the first for me. Now, why is there actually like a lot of people in my stand? Oh, yo, Silky actually just bought from me, yo. That's pretty cool. The verified person just bought from me. See, this is proof that this method works. I literally just made 25k profit as I bought these books for 150k. Now, I just have to sell my Diamond 5 books, which hopefully shouldn't be that hard. So, yeah, honestly, now I'm gonna just sit here AFK and wait for people to buy my books. back from taking a and it looks like we actually just sold everything. Now I have 4 million gems. 